There we go, guys. We are back. Uh, we got Worms Forts Under Siege loaded up, man. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know. I haven't played all the Worms games for PS2, obviously. But I uh, kind of wish that they would have just made regular 2 games or 2D games for uh, for PS2. At least 2D, 2D uh, Worms games. Because I love those ones on PC and whatnot. But both this one here, which is the one me and my brother played, and then we tried out on stream, I think it was Worms 3D. Uh, which that one actually wasn't too bad. I, I did enjoy that one. I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoy playing like Worms Armageddon and shit like that online with, with my brother or friends or whatever. Um, but still. This one here, when I played it with my brother, the big problem with it was that everything was just so slow to do anything, man. Like, so slow. And I'm sure it also didn't help that we didn't really know what we were doing at the time, whenever we played it. Uh, okay, there's a campaign mode. I guess we'll go ahead and try that out. Because, uh, like, this one here is different than the other ones. This one, you're, you're building up forts. And as you get forts, that unlocks, like, new weapons and and uh abilities for you to use and so there's like an extra level of strategy to it there which sounds cool but it just took forever man and then like we got to the sudden death mode and the sudden death mode didn't do anything really in the original or not sorry not the original in the 2d one sudden death mode constantly raises the water up every turn by a significant amount so like you can die quickly on this one, we went like 10 turns into sudden death. I'm probably exaggerating a little bit. And the water, I think, only killed like one worm. Like, it was terrible. Meet Seth. He's an ambitious worm with a lust for power. Seth has commissioned you, his young apprentice, to quite literally raise an army of the dead to defeat the aging pharaoh and his veteran army. It's a simple matter of combining respect for the gods, nimble maneuvers, and a nice packed lunch. Okay. Let's go, man. Uh, Human team one. That's us. Do we need to change any of our options? We can change our face. That's, uh... I can't even tell what half of these things are, man. Could be a little, a little devil man. So that looks like a Viking one or something. Construction Western dude. Is that, is that Flappy Bird? What is... <laughs> I have, Is that a cow? Can't tell if that's like a cow or a fucked up fly. Just a straight up eyeball. Kind of want to be the fucked up eye... Uh, cow fly looking thing i think that's a I, i'm pretty sure that's meant to be a cow gravestone uh what do we got here man oh it's up in the top left corner too that's a lot easier to see than the little picture do we just do i don't know just a golden statue of ourselves sure why not special weapon I have no idea what's good here. I think we'll just go with the default. Change our hat though, you know it. Are there any like ridiculous ones? No, they're all pretty tame, actually. Uh, We're gonna go with, stop, right there. That's <laughs> short. Classic worm, blues man, can we? Is there a way to hear them? No? Oh wait, press to listen. That was fantastic. Gospel. Rastafarian. Uh, big, big, bigless, biggles. Heads up. I have no idea what that is. Igor Italian, London cabbie, nerd, American suicidal businessman. What the? <laughs> My own wife hates me. <laughs> oh, Nate's voting on Rastafarian. I don't know, man. I'm kind of, I'm kind of down with the American suicidal businessman. <laughs> You'll think about it. That's great. Oh God, the boss wants to see me. Oh come on, give me another chance. <laughs> I play escapism <laughs> or play games for escapism. Thanks. <laughs> oh. I'm not 100% sure which one you're referring to there. <laughs> uh, 
Do you need anything before I come upstairs? If you could bring up one of my drinks, that's the only thing I would possibly need. Um, I mean, we could just do Grandpa. People were tougher in the old days. I feel funny. It's love. No, wait. It's a stroll. <laughs> <laughs> this is all so fucking stupid. Woody Rastafarian, man. The construction. Escapism through embraces a man, right? Uh, are the fanfares like... Yeah, I don't think these really care. Is there a RuneScape one? Probably not. Edit names. We have Wow Dave, Lethal Lori, Brutal Bjorn, and Action Hill. Sounds fantastic, man. I accept. Let's go with this team here. Army of the Dead. Start game. The cutscenes are pretty. Except for the uh, the hitching that I was getting there on it. Sounds like a great team. I agree, man. The best team. Game need turned up a little bit. I can't tell if this is just a quiet cutscene or. I mean, they are just making like mouth noises. <laughs> Some impressive fucking hieroglyphs, man. Holy shit! I need to go visit the pyramids. It's gonna be like that. Now, what do you guys think of the idea, though, of me uh, slowly going through the games to collect and uh, using their, their complete inbox dollar amount as a starter vote for them? On the one hand, it'll make it more likely that we get, you know, rare games on the team. Or, I'm sorry, in the collection. On the one hand, but the problem is, on the other hand, it'll make it so each vote that you guys give it count for less. So I don't know for sure which one I want to do. That's why I'm uh, curious to see what others think. I am seriously considering, though, any votes that go on it, like giving it some sort of multiplier too, just because there's so many of them. At first, I was thinking just like double, but even then, man, like double might not be enough. Do we just like 10 times whatever the votes are for those ones? Each vote counts for 10. It's not a terrible idea. On average, every game will have... Because we know the average price of a PS2 game for loose is $12. There's a story going on, by the way, if you read the screen. I'm uh, <laughs> paying any attention to it. Um, so we know the, the loose price average is $12. So assuming that a complete inbox is double even, which in most cases isn't isn't... You know, true. Um, that would mean the average number of votes on the games would be like 24. So if we multiplied it by 10, you know, one vote counts for 10 votes. That wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. If we do both, maybe. All of these must be collected. So we have to get all of the chests to win. Wait a second. This is completely different from the multiplayer mode that me and my brother played. One hundred percent different. Like I said, in the the multiplayer mode, there was like a bunch of little nodes where you could build your forts, and then your forts had to be connected to each other. And slowly, you would unlock different types of forts that you could build, like medical bays, and and uh, unlock more weapons that you could use. And you could have like weapons that had to go on top of forts that your worms could man, like all all different kinds of stuff like that. This. It's starting to look a little bit like Worms 3D. Whenever we play that. Survive at all costs. Find a way to destroy the targets of the gods. Travel across the broken bridge and stand over the victory location. Wait, don't tell me the single player is going to be good. Do we have Do we have a time limit? Doesn't look like it. How do we... How do we shoot? Okay, squares jump. Triangle's nothing. Circle. Okay. 
So circle is how we select our weapon, but right now we don't have anything available to us. So this is just a timed thing right now. I guess maybe, maybe the chests have weapons in them. So... Okay. Let's go this way. Okay, up. Faces the camera down. Can I switch the camera angles? No, at least not from in here. Maybe from before we got here we could. I wonder if there's a way to do a backflip. That's a thing you can do in the other Worms games. Oh god. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> G fucking G us, man. That was a good run. Good run. We did well. <laughs> Let's try that again. Start chapter again. We had like no forward momentum whenever we jumped there. Just none. Wonder if it's possible if I go back to price charting here real quick while this is loading. Oh, we can just skip that. Okay. I'll look at that in a second. Maybe when we inevitably die here again. I'm assuming walking into the fire would be bad. Or not. Oh shit, now it now it matters. Okay. <laughs> So being on the edge of the fire is bad, but being, or not, wait, what? Being on the edge of the fire is not bad, but being right in it is. So wait, if we do like a short jump, okay, so if we do a short jump, we get a big forward boost. If we do a, a high jump though, we get like no forward momentum. Although that time it seemed like we got a fair bit. This crate could be useful. Will you tell me what's in it? A fire punch. Oh, the flames go out too whenever we... Okay. That's somewhat helpful. God, why are we so slow? Oh! Okay, you can double click square to do... Is that like a... Okay, so you have some forward momentum and... Let's go! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting the hang of it here. We only get one use of each weapon that we're unlocking, though. Where are the other ones? That's first person. Okay. There's mines up here, too. We gotta, we gotta be careful with the mines. It would be awesome if we had a way to like, oh god. We should be safe up here. Did that blow all of them up or just the one? I don't know if it has like chain reactions. No, it just blew up the one, okay. So grab and run. There you go, we're safe. We're good, dude, we got it. So I'm assuming this is like meant to be a tutorial of some way. Oh wait, it's just the fire punch again though? Is that the only weapon it's gonna give us? I think jumping may be the fastest way to move around. God, there's a lot more things here. Uh, Okay, the chest is over there. Let's get this one first. The one that's up here somewhere. Probably... Yeah, 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 we got this. We got this. I wonder if fall damage is enabled right now. I know, generally speaking, during Worms games, there is fall damage. How did I just, like, triple jump? What, <laughs> what the hell just happened? Wait, am I okay? I think I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know if the game's glitching out or if you're meant to be able to triple jump like that. Yeah, you can. So you can do the spinning jump. And then after you do the spinning jump, you can jump again. Okay, so it looks like we're not actually taking damage from falls. It's just like knocking us out. I'm assuming that would like skip our turn if we were in an actual match against other, other worms. And not just playing the world's weirdest platforming game right now.
okay. Wait, why did I... Excuse me? Why did I just take damage out of nowhere? That's weird. Did I get, like, pinched or something? I don't... Hmm. Well, whatever. Wait, if we get on top of one of these dudes... Yes, 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 I know. Oh, now we're taking damage from falls. I'm confused, man. This game makes no damn sense. Can I get... I want to get, like, on top of this weird statue thing? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, don't fall. We got this. We Gucci, bruh. Oh, my God. That was so close. We are literally, like, floating right now. But we made it. Okay. Mission one com uh, complete. Hi ya yo ye. Doobie doo. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey presto. Fantastic. Uh, thanks. The fuck is going on? <laughs> I have no idea. It's just like calm chill music, and then you have two dudes doing a weird. Oh, they're mummies. Part of the mummy army. Now, who brought the sandwiches? Don't tell me you've forgotten the picnic. We're having a picnic? Dude, I'm down for a picnic. Let's go. I love me a good picnic. Noodle and I had surprisingly few picnics this year. Last year, we did a lot of them, but I guess this year we were just busy. Like, constantly busy. It was ridiculous. Save your progress, sure. Why not, man? Did it did it save? I don't know if it actually did or not. We're going to assume that it did and just continue on forward. Remember that once you've constructed a weapon factory, several several weapon crates drop around it every turn. Oh, very nice. City of the Dead, land owned by the Pharaoh. Mighty and majestic. Is it though? Is it mighty and majestic? And full of sand. Everywhere you turn, there's just sand. Sand, sand, sand. Guys, I think there might be some sand in the City of the Dead. I'm not positive, but I think they want us to know that there is. This rabble is the enemy. Soldiers of the Pharaoh's army. Wait, those aren't the mummy bros? <laughs> There's a lot. Okay. Try not to panic. I would never. I'm sure Seth can help. Good old Seth. He'll save us from this, uh, from this rabble. The Pharaoh's army. Is he raising his, uh, mummy soldier? Oh, no. He's calling in a crate. Survive at all costs. Kill all enemies by using the flood. Uh, Okay. Where is this crate? Okay, we're on a time limit now. Oh god, I can't see anything. The map's different this time around. Who am I controlling? Oh, okay, so wait, are they hiding? Are we red or are we blue? Okay, we're, we're blue. Do we have any weapons? Just the fire punch. Punch this dude out of the stratosphere, man. Let's go. Wait, is the flood in the crate? 
Because if that's the case, all I've really got to do is wait for it to become the guy's turn that's up top there. Grab it and use it, right? I, mean, I guess it may not be high enough to kill all of them. Uh, I was going to say good throw, but you suck, actually. <laughs> Uh, can I make it all the way up there? I think I can. I, I do think I have time. Can I jump that high? With the with that fancy triple jump that I'm still not sure is supposed to work, we have just enough height. Seth's message is clear. Build a keep? Oh. Then use the mummy army. Okay. So this isn't the flood. To knock the pharaoh and his army to lower ground. Oh, okay. It wants us to, like, knock them all down before we flood the land or whatever. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. However you do it, you need to defeat the enemy. Gotcha. Oh, that instantly ended my turn? Grabbing that crate? Okay, I thought we would still get our get our turn after that. Fire! Damn. They trying to destroy... Is that my base? I assumed it was theirs, to be honest with you. Okay, so we got to keep now. Uh, I don't know if there's a better place to build it. So we're just going to put it right there, man. No, God, I didn't want to go that far. Okay, so we got to keep. Did that unlock anything for us? What? Well, unlock the flood. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're on high enough ground for this not to kill us, but you know what? Fuck it, dude. Let's just flood this place and see what happens. Might have to help you find your earbud when I'm done. That's fine. I'll help you out, love. How high is this flood gonna be? Because only one of my worms is actually on high ground. Okay. Yep, that didn't do shit. <laughs> That was that was good, man. Do we get like infinite uses of the flood? I hope we do. So they got to be like on the ground ground for that to do anything at all. I literally don't think that killed anyone, did it? Oh no. <laughs> scramble, scramble. Well, we're probably fucked. Blowing up my damn keep, man. I just built that thing. Two hundred and thirty health left on it. That seems like a decent amount. Do I have keep required? Okay, so as long as I'm on a keep, I think I can use the flood. Uh, who just attacked? Soldier Kel or Bruce? I'm not sure. Wait, you guys are in blue. Aren't I blue or am I red? Thank you, love. I'm 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 not sure again. I'm red. I'm red. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm used to games where like, you know, you're blue when you're the good guy, but That's exactly what you need. Thanks, man. Oh, they have a fair amount of health, don't they? You want to, like, jump down on the ground there, my guy? Help out your, your friendo? What are you trying to shoot? Fire! Oh. Okay, well, you completely missed, but it's probably better than I could have done, <laughs> to be fair. I mean, just, just being honest here. I might as well use the Flood, because the Flood should kill one of them, at least. 
Can we skip the flood cutscene, or do we have to watch God come up and flood the land every time we do anything? Okay, no, we can at least skip the God part of it. But we still gotta wait for the animation to slowly play out here. Okay, it does look like anywhere on the ground level would be fine. The lower the better, of course, but it does flood the main part of the land here too, it looks like. Oh, no, 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 stay up there. Okay. I'm thinking that'd be amazing, man. Me too, me too. You're still going for the grenades and shit? Why don't, my dude's like right in front of you. Why don't you just smack him, man? Instead of trying, I guess if they blow up the keep, I won't be able to use the flood anymore. But I mean, me personally, I'd be more worried about the guy that's about to punch you off the cliff. Though I do suppose, since he only has one worm left, he could use his turn to like get off the ledge here. Or I'm sorry, to get off the ground, to, to seek high ground. I don't know if their AI is programmed to know that or not. But considering the only weapon that I've really used so far has been a flood, like, <laughs> you can probably assume that I'm going to do it again here in a moment. Sure enough, though. Nope, he is not thinking about that. Is he going for the one up top this time? Watch this one. Oh, nope, he's going for, going for the base again. Weird. I'm assuming the AI is just a little uh, stupid, <laughs> especially right now, since this is the second mission of the entire game. Uh, okay, flood. And that should be GG. Got him. Just looking at the back of the box. Enter the world of Worms Forts Under Siege. Now in full 3D, you can defend yourself from atop your mighty castle or unleash your wrath on your opponents. Crush or be crushed in epic worm style. Build huge fortifications and arsenals before crushing your enemy. Conquer four ancient eras as you lay siege in five mighty battles per era. Unleash your fury with classic Fun siege weaponry, worm style. From flaming oil to rocket-propelled hippos. Let's go, dude. Give me that rocket-propelled hippo, man. That's what I need in my life. I'm just imagining a hippo with a rocket shoved up its ass. I, I don't know if that's what it actually looks like, but... Uh, I think we might have over-flooded the land a little bit, my guy. How do you guys plan on getting down now? Looks to me like you're a little stuck there, a little stranded on top of that pyramid. Tip of the day. Remember that you can only deploy siege weapons from buildings with flat roofs. Didn't get to read the rest, so... Oh, you know what? I think we did click cancel. Oh, well. Uh, City of the Ancients. Egyptian flag 2 unlocked. Ooh, and it makes me wonder. Unlocked? Aerosol unlocked. There we go, dude. That sounds like an actual weapon. Remember that water is fatal to your worms. Avoid contact at all times. Keep in mind that your opponent may try to flood the map, so higher ground is always strategically better than ground near the water. Oh, man. I'm starting to get tired. Oh, I know this game has a couple votes. Call of Duty Finest Hour was just listed below market price. Oh, it's still sealed, though. I don't have a problem with sealed games, but sealed games are usually a lot more expensive. Yeah, it's $32, which isn't a ton, but I'd rather just get a complete in-box copy than waste it on a sealed one. Especially since, you know, I'm just going to pop it open and play it anyways. Has anyone watched the uh, the Mario movie trailer yet? 
I keep seeing people like tweet about it and a couple articles popped up about it and shit like that, but I haven't actually watched it yet. I'm curious how it's going to be, man. I've I've been cautiously optimistic about the movie since it was first announced. Um it is a little weird thinking Chris Pratt playing Mario though. Although I'm down for was it was Jack Black the one playing was he Bowser or was he Donkey Kong? I think he was Bowser. And yeah, 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 yeah. And then Donkey Kong is Seth Rogen, which I don't know how that's going to be either. But again, I'm here for it. But it's going to be weird, like, because, you know, we've heard Mario played by, uh, what was it, Mark Antonelli? I forget the guy's name, but he's been playing... Mario forever now so it's going to be weird hearing anyone else voice him but I, I remember watching a video that someone made about it and they made a good point like does anyone really want to sit there for two hours listening to the classical Mario voice <laughs> like I don't know if that's actually what anyone wants man <laughs> like a lot of people are mad about it but I think it's probably for the best that they got someone else to play him for the movies as long as they let him keep doing the voices for the games it'll be okay Build Seth a wonder at the far edge of the world. So wait, do we just have to like keep popping up? How? How? Okay, well we have some actual weapons now. Stone, 50 stone canary, grenade, bazooka, airstrike, electrical storm, fire punch, tower. Okay. Oh god. God damn it. How do I use the tower? Did I not select it? I thought I did. I'm assuming we just have to keep building me be so proud of me. towers until we get to the edge of the world or whatever. I'm assuming that's the only way to build a wonder. So when we're on top of tower, we also have access to mortars. Cluster Launcher, The Old Woman, A Napalm Strike, and A Ballista. Very cool. Parachute, Girder, and Suicide. Yeah, I think we'll skip that for now. Uh, Yeah, we'll just yes, go ahead and let our turn end. While we figure out what the hell we're trying to do. I do remember from when I played multiplayer that collecting stars unlocks more stuff too. For you as well like building building a uh, tower underneath the stars or whatever gives you access to more weapons i want to say so like since that's all linked up now presumably if i go over here and build a tower under that that gives us two stars which should be good for us for some reason. Doesn't seem to have unlocked anything for us, though. Did it not count me as being on the tower? It didn't. Okay, but it still didn't unlock anything for us. What's our infinite weapons? Do we have any? No. Okay. I guess I can just kind of shoot that way in general and hope for the best. We have seven uses of the bazooka. Let's just, uh, try it out. How do we aim up and down with the arrow keys? I think we could go first person. Yeah. So maybe like this ish and then let her fucking rip. Uh, okay. That wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. To be fair, I thought we were going to be way off the mark, but we almost hit the slaves of all people. <laughs> Is that an enemy faction or are they like on our side? I, I don't know. Are they revolting or are they still under the controls of the uh, the Egyptian pharaohs? Who, who are they shooting at? I can't tell. I think they're shooting at us. 
Yes. <laughs> that was either a really bad shot at the Pharaohs or they're also against us. Time for Brutal Bjorn. Okay. Um, can we build another tower? We can. We actually have another type of tower, a keep. Sure. Let's build a keep. I assume the keep also gives us new weapon slots. Yes. Okay. So from the keep, we have a siege a uh, word that I can't say. Chili con carnage. The rhino. A mine strike. And a minigun. Let's do... Let's do an airstrike just for the hell of it, dude. Oh, we don't get, like, the top-down view? Weird. Okay, I was expecting... Oh, here we go. If we hold R2, we can have a top-down view. Uh, where... Where's the enemies at? How do I turn the camera? There we go. Uh, this will be good enough, I think. Oh, shit. Uh, X? <laughs> Fucking mechanical bird. Let's go. Just shitting out bombs, man. <laughs> oh, half of them hit that wire. That was, that was trash. You just watched the Red Weapon Wedding episode. You're not okay. That was such a good episode, though, man. Such a good episode. I understand your pain, of course, but oh, it's so good. The show gets a lot worse. I'm just going to say that, though. Like, to this day, that's one of the most iconic episodes of Game of Thrones, probably. But, uh, yeah, man. What's this one? <laughs> Game of Thrones is full of just bad shit. Oh, no. oh, damn. Good throw, good throw. It's weird that there's, like, two... Two enemy factions, but I get to go in between each one. I hope this doesn't knock me out. It did. Well, there goes my turn. Done wasted that shit. I need to stop triple jumping. I wasn't really trying to there. I just, I don't know, mashed the square buttons. Oh, man, I feel... Hey, Silence. Welcome to the stream first off. But, uh, yeah. Are you talking about because he's just seen the Red Wedding episode? Yeah. It is a rough one, man, but uh, trust me, there's going to be shit that happens that is a lot worse. <laughs> Can the towers take damage? No, doesn't look like it. Wow, Dave, ready for action. Okay. Is this the right? Yeah, this is where we want to go. Do I just go straight to another keep? Sure, why not? Uh, double jump? Double jump, please? No, not that way. Dude, why are you going backwards? There we go. Alright, uh... Can we try out the minigun now? Can I aim the minigun? I can, but only with the L and R buttons. Can I aim first person? There we go, dude. Okay. Can I just completely destroy their tower with it? I think I did. I don't think I did any damage to him, though. I was actually trying to, like, kill Chief Whip. Wait. It exploded. That should have done some damage. Not a lot, though. <laughs> 23. Hey. Hey. It's damage. It's better It's better than triple jumping, taking fall damage, and wasting our turn. Scramble, I'll take it. Scramble. Is this guy going to, like, jump off the fucking cliff? No, okay. I was waiting for him to just yeet himself into the water. That's something I would have done. <laughs> Watch this one. See what I mean about this game being slow as hell, though? Like, Worms 2D, the, the regular one, is a turn-based game, so it does take some time. So I'm not surprised about that, but this one, the 3D ones, just take so long. This one especially. Just keep 
keep jumping, just keep jumping, getting stuck on shit. Can we go this way, please? Uh, okay, can I build another keep yet? Yes, but I kind of want to build it farther forward. Where's the next star point? Right up there, actually. So we probably want to build it... Because we want to get over there. I can kind of go like... Is this a good idea? Will that connect? It does connect. Awesome. Okay, you're like right here. You should be pretty easy to hit with something. Uh... Electrical storm? Let's try that out. Uh, just... Did, did that even do anything? I Oh. Oh, this is like a god power thing? Okay. Can I control it? No, I don't seem to be able to control it. It just does whatever the hell it wants. And it's dropping toasters? <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, hey, if you finish knocking out that tower for me, that's good. Yes. No. Man, I wanted to kill some of their worms is what I wanted to do. Their towers be damned, man. Murder them. God, see, though? Again, so slow. It takes so long, man. All right. Thanks, God. <laughs> it did a tiny bit of damage to a couple of their towers that's it good good what do you got grenade they seem to love their grenades I'm waiting for them to pull out the holy hand grenades <laughs> start tossing them at me instead of these regular ones I love this close up shot on the worm man doesn't he look good? You suck. Piece of shit. Didn't even get close, man. Okay, let's make our way over to that keep real quick. And then... I'm assuming... Okay, don't jump backwards. <laughs> that we can't build one on that star yet. Because I think, I could be wrong, but I think there's still a keep, oh my god, there we go, I think there's still a keep on that star, so we probably have to finish destroying that first, yes, unless we can't build sideways here for some reason, uh, we know the minigun does a pretty good job at destroying shit. So let's just go ahead and use that again. Did the job last time, man. Oh god, I'm turning the wrong way. Uh, camera? Camera, work with me here? Let's go, dude! Can we- Ah, uh, I was hoping we can make our way over to the other worm, do some damage. Stronghold destroyed. Let's go. Give me them stars, boy. Although it looks like the only other thing we have to unlock is delayed turns. Uh, I'm assuming that's like a skip turn thing, but for them? For the enemy? I don't know. What's this He's got it lined up. He's letting loose. And the pitch is... Bad. <laughs> Real bad. No damage to nothing. It seems like they're trying to focus on blowing up our base. Which, I guess, makes sense. I mean, I think if you lose your base, you automatically lose the game. I'm used to playing, like, the 2D Worms games where you just murder each other. So that's what I keep expecting. The goal would be, no, we can't build up there. Can we just not build a keep up there? Hmm. 
Okay, let's go ahead and build a tower here. Maybe we just have to, like, slowly build our way over or something. Uh, grenade, bazooka, 50 stone canary, electrical storm. Let's just go ahead and do another electrical storm, man. Why not? Might as well get it out of the way. Let God rain down whatever kind of destruction he wants. On whatever he wants. A little bit more on the slaves tower. That's fine by me. If you want to destroy it this time, that would be even better. Oh god, my cords are getting wrapped together. I got my headphone cable and my controller cable. Get fucked. How you like that wrath of God on you, man? Bet you never thought you'd have toasters raining on your head. Whipping boy <laughs> gets ready. What kind of name is that, my guy? Whipping boy? Bet he makes a bunch of whipped cream. That's where it came from. Oh, grenades. Who would have guessed? Didn't see that one coming. Oh, shit. He hit something. He took a chip out of one of our towers. That bastard. <laughs> Even with a direct hit, though, it looks like the grenades only do 20 damage. So they're going to have to throw a lot of fucking grenades to, to kill us. To kill any of our towers. Let alone the, uh the main base one if if that's what they were going for before oh don't jump in the water okay can i claim this tower now uh i don't know if a hospital works for claiming stuff so i'm just gonna throw a keep on it and maybe next time we'll throw down a hospital or something castle required okay which maybe now we'll be able to build a castle since we have more stars. What's the Chili Con Carnage? Okay. What? How does this work? Can I aim first person with it? I can. That's good. Uh, where's... This is my guys. I don't know if this is affected by the wind or anything. Or no, it looks like not. So just throw it full force ahead, dude. <laughs> That didn't go nearly as close as... Oh! Okay, well... <laughs> well, we missed, so it didn't really do shit for us, but... So, it blows up and at least fire on the ground. I'm assuming they can't walk through that. I also see where the fire is burning. We can't build anything, it looks like. So there's those little, like, no castle symbols popping up on there. God, Twitch is telling me it's time for a break. I'm trying. I, I really want to finish this. I am super tired, but... Okay, let's go ahead and pop down a hospital. Do we just keep making a forward? I mean, they haven't, like, destroyed anything yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep making a forward advance with it. Is there anything I can do with a hospital? Doesn't seem like it. Let's go ahead and use our next airstrike, man. Is it a good time for it? Probably not, but... Uh, okay, this dude's almost dead. So could we, like, maybe get this tower and him at the same time? Maybe with, like, that? I'm assuming one hit here will will be enough to kill him. But I'm hoping to do some damage to the tower, too. Yeah, that should have done it. I don't know if any of that actually hit the tower, but... Repressed? He should be donezo by now. Get fucked, guy. It was nice knowing repressed. Yep. <laughs> Slave to the grind. Almost dead. Maybe we should have put it a little bit farther over. 
I remember when me and my brother were playing together, we did get the hospital, but I don't think either one of us ever figured out how it actually works. You would assume that, like, you're able to heal your worms in some way with it, but... Oh, God, they're getting better weapons now. Okay, this could actually be bad. Oh, oh, no! Wow, okay. That did some damage. Holy shit, that almost took out the tower. Uh, I wonder if a link gets severed, does that mess everything up after it? Okay, let's throw down... Is that a castle? Yes, it is. Throw that castle down right fucking there, dude. Can I jump that far? Yes, let's go. Okay. We have homing pigeon and a fridge launcher and a giant crossbow. Let's try the homing pigeon. I don't know how the hell that works. Do I actually have to, like, shoot it? Or does it just do its thing? How does this work? Okay, we can do a top-down view. I want to destroy this tower. That didn't work at all. <laughs> that didn't do shit. Okay. Don't know how that works. Scramble, scramble. I thought, you know, homing pigeon. Maybe it, you just, like, select it, whatever you want to attack, and then it just flies its way over there or something. Apparently not, dude. All right, they're back to using bazookas and shit. That's good. Watch this one. We need more airstrike-style weapons. Otherwise, we're probably fucked. Obviously, I can't aim to save my life. Uh, Do we need to fix this or anything? Doesn't seem like it. Just gonna keep pushing forward. They're put away. Oh, you're uh, you're Squishmallows. Good job, love. Let's just do, I guess, another keep. I mean, we have a bunch of them. Why not, right? Yeah, sure. Put you, put you right there, and then. Maybe we can use one of the keep weapons to try and do a bit of damage. I really want to take out that close tower before they get any more smart ideas. Gatling, or minigun, rather? Let's try out the rhino, maybe. It's like, it is like right there, after all. Oh, okay. Can I control him? No. He just does whatever the hell he wants. I can blow him up, it seems like, though. Was that enough? It was not. If we had aimed it a little bit better, it probably would have, like, rammed into it repeatedly yes, and did sir. more damage. With that there. Oh, really? You're not moving to, like, high ground? Watch this one. I feel like that would have made your, your shot a lot easier. I think they're going for that tower now that's been severely damaged by their... What, they use the mortar catapult something? Is this the right way? No, this is the right way. Just keep pushing forward, my guy. It's weird that we didn't connect to this tower right here. Wait, I don't have any buildings available? Huh. That's odd. Okay. Uh, let's hop back up on this tower here. Excuse me, game. Napalm strike. That should do the trick. And presumably this one I can actually aim from the air. Can I get both the towers? Maybe, like, here-ish? Will that hit both? I'm assuming it's like the airstrike where he drops a bunch and not just a single one. I don't know, man. 
It doesn't look like it really did that much damage to the tower. Son of a bitch. One? Did that say one health point back, or did it heal one health point? Scramble, scramble. Regardless, it's still standing. That's a problem. Just hop in the fire for me real quick, dude. Go ahead. Jump right on in. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to use another good weapon, aren't you? Not the mortar, dude. We might be fucked. Looks like a hard shot. Oh, okay. That's going to hurt, but I don't think it'll destroy it. Negative 53, yeah. Good shot, good shot. Credit where credit's due, my man. Lethal Lori contemplates the next move. Wait, what is that? Oh, the weapons factory. Okay, I remember them talking about that in the, the tip. So Weapon crates will drop around it like every turn or whatever. Which means we probably want to leave at least one worm back here somewhere. Maybe this worm. So that they can uh, grab the crates every turn. That does also mean we're going to have to do like longer range stuff though too. The rhino was pretty good. Siege thing? Oh god, I do not feel confident in this at all. Okay, aim it. Aim it up. I don't know what the arc is like on this thing. Uh, Just fire in this general direction and hope for the best. You're gonna be suffering now. That's too much. Way too much. Straight into the water. <laughs> <laughs> G fucking G, dude. Good job, us. Hence why we normally go for airstrike stuff. <laughs> oh god, is this going to be another siege weapon? I'm guessing mortar again. No, the minigun. What are they trying to destroy? The... Is that the weapons factory? I don't know, did they destroy the weapons factory? That minigun's powerful as hell, my guy. Yeah, they did! We just built that! You bastards! I'm assuming it's not gonna give us another one. Yeah, no, we only had the one. Victory locations required four and five. Okay, well, we have a minigun of our own at this point. Can I, like, head over here to the castle? Or tower, whatever this is. Can I, like, it doesn't show it connected, but if I went over here, can I build anything over here now? I can. Okay, let's go ahead and get another castle right up in here. I'm just, I'm assuming that the castles have more hit points. So that's why I'm, I'm building it this close. And then... Let's go for the Rhino again, I think. My my idea is if we plop the Rhino down like right here, maybe it'll hit that and then uh Nope, okay, the, the Rhino broke. There we go. Well <laughs> I was really hoping the Rhino would at least hit some of the buildings. <laughs> uh, it seems like he's not gonna do shit. Does it blow up on its own at some point? Is it gonna do anything? No. Come on, just turn, dude. Whatever. Whole five damage. <laughs> Fucking Raging Rhino did five. Rhino? Raging Rhino did five damage. Love it. What are you going for? Bazooka? Grenade? Another siege weapon? Oh, okay. Now you're getting the high ground. Or a grenade. All right. I'm okay with grenades, man. It's uh, the gentleman's yeah. weapon, the grenade. 
And that's why I don't use it. Because... <laughs> I don't know if we can actually push any farther forward or not. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not towards the water. Away from the water. Castle. Yes. Okay. Can I build a citadel? Sure. I'm assuming that's even better than a castle. What can we do from here? Anything new? Nothing new. We can try this giant crossbow now, though. It is affected by the wind. It's a really short-range shot. That... Oh, it, like, flares out. It shoots multiple. That was pretty cool. It's workhorse dead. Tower demolished. Other tower demolished. Oh, tower. Oh. And that one's dead. That was a good shot, man. Finally made up for all those uh, wasted shots that we had. And did significant damage to another tower. Or castle. Not want. sure what that was. That does confirm my suspicions, though. That if they blow up that one tower that they did a lot of damage to, we yes, might sir. lose everything in front of it. So the next thing we might want to do is put down a uh, another tower or something in the back whenever we get to that one character that we had hanging back so that there's another connection to the forward front. Watch this one. See, I like the themes. I like the ideas behind the this version of the game. It's just the execution was never done. Great. You got it, Nemon. Wild Dave. Okay, you're not the one that we had hanging back, so we actually just want you to push forward with everyone else. Where are the other victory locations? There's one there and one all the way up there. So we just gotta we just gotta keep building our towers, man. A science lab. Very cool. Uh, can't build one there. I'm assuming because something was just destroyed there. So in that case... Ballista, giant crossbow. Maybe we try the Chili Con Carnage again? Is this the one we played? It is. This is the single player mode. Um, which honestly, I would say is better than what we played. You gotta be suffering now. There we go. Good location, man. Good location. Probably could have been a little bit better, but still pretty good. Significant damage to that tower and the, the one behind it. I mean, the bar wasn't too high. Yeah, I mean, the biggest problem with it IMO was just how slow everything was, man. Whenever me and you were playing it. And in single player, it's still pretty slow. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, the thing that kills me is the, the sudden death. Like, the water raising really just wasn't that big of a deal. We're one? almost in sudden death here. I'm wondering how that's going to play out. But having the extra objectives, I think, helps a little bit, too. Okay, so this is our guy that was hanging back. So we want him to try and build, like, some other connections in case that building gets broke. So go ahead and put the science lab down over here. And then we'll put another building in front of that here in a moment to finish a connection. Not sure what the science lab does. Do we try and use a weapon? Sure. Why not, man? Go big, right? Uh, Wind is like straightforward, essentially. So just shoot it, like, in this general direction and hope for the best. Okay, too low. <laughs> I need more airstrikes, damn it. Give me stuff that goes boom in the sky. Or from the sky. Whatever. Please don't blow up my connection yet. Just, like, one more turn and I'll have a connection complete. Okay, good. They missed. I am a little bit worried about that one in the back, though, because everything's connected through that one, too. 
Hatching a master plan, I doubt that. The worms can't be smarter than me, and I'm not that smart. Alright, uh... I don't know what the science towers do, so I'm not gonna build one of those. Keep pushing forward. We got Cluster Launcher. Napalm Strike. Let's go ahead and do another Napalm Strike, man. Maybe if we, uh... Because if we get it, like, right here... We should be able to maybe do a bit of damage to... Both their main tower... And this one, and possibly kill Slave to the Grind, or whatever his name was as well. There we go, dude. Let's go. That was pretty good. Slave to the Grind should definitely be dead. The fall damage alone should be enough to kill him, but being on fire? Just barely, though, actually. He had seven health. We did eight damage. <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. Good damage to the buildings, though. I guess napalm's meant more to destroy buildings than anything else. Now we just got to get rid of this dickhead. Whatever his name is. Oh, shit. It's sudden death time, though. Uh, Do I have anyone on the ground? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if one or two of my worms die at this point. As long as none of my buildings get destroyed. He's really homing in close on that one back there, though. Oh, mission failed! No! No sudden death. We just had to beat it in time? Oh, that sucks. God. I thought we were doing good on that one, too, man. I, we build a tower forward almost every turn. I guess we just had to take the turns a lot faster. Well, fuck. Oh, well. Um... It's time for me to take a break, and I don't see myself playing much more of this game right now anyways. Plus, like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I'm pretty beat. We've been going for, what, two and a half? Almost two and a half hours, so I think it's a good place to call it for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of, uh, what game did we play? It was baseball. I remember that much. I don't remember which one it was. But I hope you guys enjoyed that, whatever the fuck game it was. As well as, of course, Worms. A uh, reminder that next... Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we'll be playing Metal Gear Solid 2. That was what we rolled on for completion. Let me just go ahead and pull up the list here as we're ending. This time I'll actually remember to transition it over so you can see. Uh, games to complete. So we rolled on Metal Gear Solid 2. Here, these games that are highlighted are the games you can vote on for us to play after Metal Gear Solid 2, but that is like a 20, 30 hour game, so it's going to be a little while. And just a quick reminder that we can vote, or you guys excuse me, can vote on any of these green games down here as well for us to play on these normal PS2 nights. Looking at this list, man, I need to get some more games soon, just in general. Oh, we also, of course, did buy Seek and Destroy. That'll be coming soon. And right now we're slowly reaching the goal of getting NCAA Football 2010. Everyone's favorite game. <laughs> but no, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow night with some RimWorld. I hope to see you guys there. There's a new expansion for RimWorld coming out really soon. I'm actually really excited about that. Um, but because of that, I really want to do a vanilla or mostly vanilla run at least. Um, so, yeah. If the colony dies again like it has previously, we're going to let them die. Because I want to play that new uh, expansion when it comes out mostly vanilla. So I'm going to have to start a new, a new run to do that. Um, it's pretty cool. It, it's adding children into the base game, which is neat. Um, gene modifications for both children and adults. And something else as well. I don't remember what the third thing was. Oh, it's adding like some of the deep storage stuff natively. Not as overpowered as deep storage is, but some of that stuff. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I feel like there was something else too. That, that it was adding, but I don't remember what. But anyways, point is... It, oh, mech, uh, you can have uh, pets. Mechs as uh, uh, robot pets. That's the other thing that they added. That's pretty cool. Um, so kind of like the little robots. You guys have never seen them in, in my stream, but it's called Miscellaneous Robots++. Plus Plus. I think it's going to be similar kind of to that, but the robots are controlled by 
an individual character so like if that character dies the robots stop working it's a it's a weird system but i think it'll be pretty cool i'm super excited for it but anyways guys yeah yeah yeah. thank you for coming and hanging out tonight i hope you enjoyed yourselves i know i certainly did and until tomorrow bye bye y'all as always be kind to each other have a good night it was made to be played on four by three in my opinion I'm sure there's people out there that will disagree, but I tried Killzone 16 by 9, and I, like, looking back at it, watching the video back on YouTube.